new backlash tonight involving a Japanese company's attempt to purchase U.S. Steel. You'll remember in December, U.S. Steel announced a $14.1 billion sale agreement with Nippon Steel. As since then, there's been backlash from lawmakers, Iron Range union leaders, and the other company that wanted to buy U.S. Steel, Cleveland Cliffs. Northern News Now's Madison Green is tracking new developments. Madison, sounds like the United Steelworkers Union is sharing new frustrations with its members. Briggs, Dan, U.S. Steel owns Keytac and Mintac on the range. When the announcement was first made, USW expressed its disappointment with U.S. Steel, saying making a deal with a foreign company demonstrates greed and short-sightedness on U.S. Steel's part. Now they're voicing their frustration with Nippon Steel. In a message to their members this week, USW leaders say there's been a complete lack of communication and transparency from Nippon Steel. According to the document, Nippon Steel will have its Houston-based company, Nippon Steel North America, acquire U.S. Steel. This means the parent company would not have to uphold any contractual agreements for the union members. The document explains the union asked for financial information on Nippon Steel North America. They say Nippon Steel admitted to having no financial information for the company. In August, U.S. Steel rejected an offer from Cleveland Cliffs, who the union supported buying the company. However, in their 2023 earnings call this morning, Cleveland Cliffs CEO Lorenzo Gonsalves said his company will continue to fight for what's best for the union workers, and the Nippon Steel purchase is hardly a done deal. It's our proven commitment to not just preserve, but to grow good American manufacturing jobs, good American middle class jobs, and maintain American ownership of industries. We do not believe that the final chapter of this story has been written. Gonsalves said he applauds the Biden administration raising alarm bells and investigating the deal to make sure it does not break any antitrust laws. The union states it's used to being disrespected by U.S. Steel and believes Nippon Steel will do the same, but they will continue to fight for the rights of its members. We reached out to both U.S. Steel and Nippon Steel for comment, but did not hear back.